Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well today. So for today's video, I, it's probably the most exciting video I've done on my channel so far. I was blessed and was invited to participate in the winter round robin that is being hosted by Steph from Steph's Loves Life. So Stephanie, thank you so much for including me in this round robin. I am so excited to participate in this. I've watched other round robins here on YouTube and they just seem so much fun. And I'm so happy to be participating with all you ladies this time. So Steph, again, thank you so much for inviting me to join. And so once again, it's Steph from Steph Loves Life and I'll have her channel and all the other ladies linked in the description box down below. So please, you know, if you haven't subscribed to them yet, please go ahead and subscribe so you can join in on the round robin and show us all some love. You like the videos, comment. It really helps a lot for everybody's participation. So the other ladies that are joining in this winter round robin is Martha from Martha's Fragrance Corner. Summer Michelle, Stephanie from the Steph the Scented Gemini, Anya Wickless with Curly Q, Melissa Johnson Hate, Christine from Christine Scent Scene, Alexis, I don't know if it's pronounced Shoe Leader. I'm sorry if I butchered that Alexis, but we all know Alexis here on YouTube. Lori Hansen and April from April Lee Wax Queen. We did have one more participant, but she is taking a step back from YouTube, but I am sending her my positive thoughts and prayers, and I hope to see her back soon to make videos. We do miss her very much here. And so, yeah, we are going to jump into this huge box of wax that Steph has put together, and just by looking at it, I can tell there's just so many, like, amazing scents. Like, when I saw this show up on my doorstep, I was like... Like, I can't even, like, lift this up. There's so much wax to go through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my three piles. I'm going to make a yes pile, a maybe pile, and a no pile. And then at the end, I will go through again with you, you know, what I'm going to be taking and what I'm not going to be taking. And for the maybe pile, we'll see if I change my mind later on in the video about that. And then so we are just gonna jump right in so on top here we have a rose girls mini melter bag and let's go ghouls vanilla chai vanilla pumpkin marshmallows and pumpkin milkshakes i think i've seen charity rave about this one before and it does smell really good oh, you get the vanilla chai mm the vanilla pumpkin marshmallows and the pumpkin milkshake. It's just like vanilla chai with pumpkin. Mm, this is really good. I am actually gonna put this in my maybe pile. So that is the maybe. The next from Rose Girls is called Sugar Daddies and Cookie Land. Sugar milk, warm apple pie, frosted sugar cookies, confetti cake, toffee, butterscotch pretzels, and cookie. You definitely get that warm apple pie. That's what I get the most. Like that is like first and foremost. I do get the the cookie land though too. I do get a hint of the pretzels and the cookies. But really it's like the warm apple pie heavy. And I feel like I have scents that are similar to this already. So I am going to pass on Sugar Daddy's and Cookie Land. So I'll put that in the no pile. Next, I've heard a lot of people rave about this one too. This one's called Bowser's Breath Campfire Crispy Burned Cinnamon Sugar Toast. I think, is it Natalie and Charity have raved about this? This is good. Uh, you get the campfire uh, with that cinnamon sugar toast. And you do get like a little burntness from it, not in a bad way, but uh, that is really good. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile too. Next, we have a loaf here from L3. This is leaves, peanuts, caramel apple, and campfire mallow. Hmm. 
this is good. You get the leaves. You get a hint of the caramel apple. Usually caramel apple is a little bit stronger in one, but it doesn't take over the blend. This is leaves. And I'd say the campfire mallow and a hint of the peanut. But my collection is already very like fall heavy. So I'm going to pass this one along. Next, we have a clamshell from the Bathing Garden in Magic Green Soup. I don't know the scent notes. She does not put the scent notes on her clams. This smells fresh, though. I get like a fresh note from this. It's kind of hard to describe what, but yeah. I don't know. I think this is going to be a little bit too fresh and earthy for me. But look how beautiful that clam is. Mm, so that is Magic Green Soup from the Bathing Garden. I am going to pass this. Next, we have some scent shop cups here from Yummer's Delight. This one is called Don't Be So Jelly. So I'm assuming that this is like a jelly donut scent because I see the picture of Homer Simpson on here with the donuts. Mm. Let's see if I can pop this out. Yes. Yes, it smells like a, a raspberry, like jelly donut. Mm, I like that actually. I think I'm gonna put this one in my yes pile. So that is Don't Be So Jelly from Yummer's Delight. I'll put that in the yes. Another one from Yummer's Delight is Strawberry Lemon Head. Mm. Smells like strawberry lemonade very strong on the lemonade mm. it is good but i'm not a huge fan of lemonade so i'm going to say no to this one next up is strawberry ice cream sandwich from yummer's delight hmm. it's good but I can get a little bit more of like that chocolate like ice cream sandwich note at the bottom and i'm not a fan of chocolate scents so i'm going to pass the strawberry ice cream sandwich dropping things another yummer's delight is iced strawberry bread this one doesn't want to pop out but that's what it smells like it smells like strawberry and fresh baked bread. I like it, but I do have a lot of scents that are already similar to this. And I know there are a couple of other ladies that do like the strawberry and bread scents. So I am going to pass that one along. We have a sample here from Teddy B's in Sugared Violet Angel Cakes. I actually just melted my, I had a sample cup of this. And I just melted this like two weeks ago and I loved it. I'm really hoping that she repours this scent in one of her pre-orders this year. Because I'd love to get my hands on more of this. Oh. You get the violet in the slight hint of that bakery note. It is beautiful. So this one I am going to take. Next is a sample from Sassy Girl Aroma and Crystals. This smells like a nice kind of perfumey scent. I did get this in one of my uh, orders too as a sample. So it smells good, but I'm going to pass this one along since I already do have that. Next up from Swanky, we have Candy Cane Lane. I just placed my first order with Swanky a couple of weeks ago during her pre-order and I'm so excited to try everything. Ooh, oh, that's good. This reminds me of um, Dessa's, um, the Snowball Sugar Cookies, I think they're called. Oh, this is good. You get the candy cane, but there's also like vanilla in it. It's like a creamy peppermint. Mm, this is good. This is gonna go in my yes pile. Candy Cane Lane. 
Next, we have a sample here from L3 in Cranberry Ginger Ale. I already know this is probably going to be a pass for me because I'm not a fan of ginger ale scents. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's all I get from this is ginger ale, so I'm going to pass this one. Next, we have a clam here from Destination Wax and Vanilla Birch. This is White Birch, Madagascar Vanilla, and Sandalwood, which is the Bath and Body Works type. I don't think I've actually ever smelled vanilla birch on its own, but it smells good. Mm. That does smell good, but I am going to pass that along because I know that there are other ladies in here that enjoy birch scents more than me, so I will pass that along. Next, we have a chunk muffin here from Rose Girls and Peppermint Cupcakes at Tiffany's. I'm not a huge fan of cupcakes at Tiffany's, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one. Yeah, I'm not a fan, but I wanted to show how cute that is though. Yeah, mm -mm. that's not, unfortunately that is not for me. Like I said, I'm just not a cupcakes at Tiffany's fan. I feel like I get too much of the chocolate that's in there from the, like the toffee bits or the, some uh, vendors say like chocolate, uh, chip bits like I just don't I'm not a fan of chocolate and wax so I'm going to pass that along oh we have another yummers delight here in bomb pop I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one yeah I'm not a fan of like you know mime or like popsicle scents yeah this has cherry in it too and I'm just not a fan of cherry so I will pass that one along. I know there are plenty of other ladies here that would enjoy that. We got some clamshells here from Kay's. The first one is in gingerbread. This is cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, sugar, and vanilla. Mm -hmm. And that's what it is. It's just a nice, nice gingerbread. It's a strong gingerbread though. I'm gonna put that in the maybe pile. Next up from K's is pumpkin snickerdoodle. This is snickerdoodle cookies, pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Mm. Mm, I like that pumpkin in the snickerdoodle. Oh, that one's good. Mm. I think I'm going to put this one in my maybe pile too. So that is pumpkin snickerdoodle. Next from K's, we have fall bounty, pumpkin pecan waffles, zucchini bread, and peanut brittle. I don't think I've ever had anything with peanut brittle in it. I know a lot of people like it. Mm. It's a nice pumpkin pecan waffles. And the peanut brittle. I don't get too much zucchini bread, but I do get the pumpkin pecan waffles and the pumpkin peanut brittle. It smells good, but I think I'm going to pass because I do have a lot of pumpkin pecan waffle blends already. So I'm going to pass that one along. Next from K's, we have bourbon and butterscotch. So this is butterscotch, bourbon, and sweet vanilla. This is the Bath and Body Works type. Yeah, I'm not into butterscotch and I'm not into bourbon either, unfortunately. I just want to smell, but um, yep, mm -mm. I get more of that butterscotch on the bottom. So unfortunately, that is going to be a no for me. Next up, we have eggnog, vanilla, amaretto, rum, buttermilk, and sugar. I've been really getting into eggnog scents lately. But this one is a little bit too boozy for me. I like the more of the creamy bakery eggnog than like the spicy, you know, um, boozy eggnog. So I'm going to pass eggnog along because I know there are a lot of other ladies that 
have been enjoying eggnog since as well. We got some Scentsy bars here. This first one is a Mountain Sunset. I don't have the notes for this. But this is pretty. This actually kind of reminds me of the aerial um, bar that's in the uh, catalog right now that's going to be leaving at the end of the month. It's, it reminds me of that. It's like a nice fresh scent, but like has like a hint of floral to it. Mm, I actually like this. I think I'm going to, yeah, I think this is going to go in my yes pile because it reminds me of that aerial bar and I love that scent. So that is Mountain Sunset. So that will be a yes. Sorry, I got to straighten out here. My legs. Okay, next we have Pina Colada Cha Cha. I have never tried this one either. Yeah. Definitely pina colada and pineapple. Yes. This smells really good, but I think I'm gonna pass on this only because I have quite a bit of pineapple in my collection already. Mm. But that does smell good. That's pina colada cha-cha. Next, we from Sensi we have custard apple. I usually love apple scents, but there's something in this one that I am not vibing with. I don't know what it is. The apple just smells like really like tart and like artificial to me. I don't know why, but yes, so I'm going to pass on custard apple. Next is Meet Me at the Mistletoe, which I believe was the November scent of the month. Mm. Oh, she has the notes on this one. Mistletoe, Cherry, Refreshing Forest. So I get the Mistletoe and the Refreshing Forest. I don't get any cherry from this, though. Mm. Mm. That actually smells pretty good. I'm going to put that in my maybe pile. Meet me at the mistletoe. Smells like an interesting tree scent. Next we have the Big Hero 6 Would You Like a Hug Bar. The scent notes on this are Vibrant Strawberry Wild Raspberry Whipped Marshmallow Sweet Sugar. This one I'm not a huge fan of. I had a bar of this before and I believe I sent mine to Charity because I know she loves this scent. This smells like fruit punch to me, and I'm just not really a fan of fruit punch. So I am going to pass on the Big Hero 6. Next, we have Pink Lemon Water. Mm, this smells good, but... I think I'm going to pass on this one too, only because I do like lemon scents, but I prefer lemon bakery. And this smells like more of like a fresh lemon to me. It doesn't smell like cleaner lemon, but it just smells like a fresh lemon. And I like lemon bakery better. So I'm going to pass on the pink lemon water. Next, we have a sample here from Rose Girls called Don't Drop the Soap. And that just smells like a bar of soap. <laughs> Would be perfect for a bathroom. Mm. It doesn't smell horrible. It really does just smell like a bar of soap. But it's not really like a scent that I like. So I am going to pass that one along. Next up from Teddy Bees, we have Emma of Normandy. This is Dark Berries, Essential Orchid Blooms in Warm Vanilla. I already know I'm going to pass on this one because I already have a souffle of it. Oh, but it does smell good. It's a really nice, like, sensual scent. Perfect for the bedrooms. So that is Emma of Normandy. I will pass along because I do have that one. Next, we have from Silky Soaps and Scents. This is called Bewitched. shape. I'm not really sure what I'm smelling in this. 
I really don't get much, honestly. It kind of just smells like wax to me. So I am going to pass this one along. Next we have from that Smell Good shop, this is called Immunity Idol. This is Aged Woods Campfire and Peppermint. Mm. You do get that peppermint and a hint of the campfire. It smells good. It's not like a nose clearing peppermint. It does smell good, but it's a little bit too earthy for my liking with the aged woods. So I am going to pass on Immunity Idol. Next from L3 Waxy Wonders is Jack's Obsession, which is the Scentsy type. And this cauldron full of apple spiced with clove and cinnamon makes for a ghoulishly grand brew. This actually really does smell like exactly like the Scentsy Jack's Obsession bar. Oh, that is really good. Oh, so good. If you like the Scentsy Jack's Obsession, this one smells just like it. I love this scent, but I am actually going to pass on it because back around the fall time, Sassy Girl Aroma also did dupes of the Jack's Obsession and the Halloween Town from Scentsy and I actually got a brittle of both of those scents and they smell identical to the Scentsy bar too so since I have a brittle of each of those scents I'm going to pass this along to the other ladies oh and there's actually two of them here so I will pass this one along too next there's actually two of these too this is the Halloween Town Scentsy type this is everyone's, everybody's scream for a sinister potion of cranberry, apple, and spiced cedar wood concocted in the dead of night. Yep. This does smell just like the Halloween Town Scentsy Bar too. So, so good. But like I said, I have a brittle of that from Sassy Girl Aroma already. So I'm going to pass these along. Next up from Rose Girls, we have Apple Bottom, Apple Bottom Margaritas, if I can talk. Mac Apple and Frozen Margaritas. Now, we all know that I love a good Mac Apple scent, but I'm not a fan of margaritas, so. Yeah. That's kind of what I get from this, is the margarita. I don't, actually, I don't really get much Mac Apple, even though, you know, Mac Apple usually, like, dominates a scent. But, so, I am going to pass this one along as well. Next, we have a sample here from Britta's in Tate. This is aloe and green clover, tobacco and bay, plus Palo Santo. Hmm, that's interesting. I've never actually had a tobacco blend. Hmm, but I get the tobacco and the aloe and green. Hmm, this actually smells interesting. I'm going to put this in my maybe pile. Since it's a small little sample here, I think that might be okay. Oh, sorry. I gotta move again. And my ring light camera is dying, of course, but oh, whatever. Next, we have a sample from L3 in Tart Green Apple Sweet Cinnamon Sugar Oregon Autumn. Hmm. I like that green apple. I don't get much of the sweet cinnamon sugar, and I don't know what's in Oregon Autumn, but I get a nice green apple with a little bit of something else, but I can't place what it is. Hmm. This actually smells pretty good, though. I think I'm going to put this one in my yes pile. Okay, next we have Teddy Bee's Rain and Woods. This is crunchy leaves, wet flowers, clove, balsam, patchouli, and sandalwood. I think this one's probably going to end up being a no for me. I think this is going to be a little bit too fresh and earthy for me. Yeah. <laughs> you get the wet flowers for sure. With the crunchy leaves. Yeah. This one, unfortunately, is a no for me. But I know that everybody in this 
round robin group loves teddy b so i'm sure somebody will snag this one next from rose girls we have haunted library this is suede rosewood leather old library books and fireplace and yeah the name describes it all it smells like a library it does smell good but i'm gonna pass on this because i believe that stephanie had sent this blend to me or something very similar to this in friend mail that she sent to me a while back so since i do have a bag already i'm going to pass this along next up from teddy b's we have spiced vanilla almond blossom this is sensual vanilla almond blossom sweet cake with a hint of cinnamon sugar looks like this was a loaf Stephanie, I can't believe that you parted with a loaf from Teddy Bee's. We, everybody knows how much Teddy Bee's wax is loved by many. Mmm. That smells good. And I'm not usually an almond person, but I honestly don't get too, too much almond from this. I get that sensual vanilla with the sweet cake. Mmm. I am gonna... I'm going to put this in my yes pile, but I'm only going to take a few chunks just to try out to see how it does on warm and see if it's something that I would want to like, you know, repurchase if she offers it again. So I'm just going to take a few pieces from this. So I will put that in the yes pile. Next we have Dess's. Oh, this is one of my favorite Dess's scents too. This is Salem. This is Leaves, which is the Bath and Body Works type. Mac Apple, Dewy Outdoor Leaves, and Vanilla Voodoo. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is such a good scent. Oh, you get the leaves. You get the dewy outdoor leaves, which I'm usually not a fan of like scent notes like that. But this one smells so good. You get the Mac Apple. Oh, so good. I'm actually going to pass on this though because I do have two breakaway bars of this already in my collection. So I'm going to pass this along to somebody else to enjoy. Oh my god next this is also from Dess's. this is apple barn this is granny smith apples macintosh apples fall leaves oak barrel and barnwood and i'm gonna take this out because i have never actually seen one of her oh, i love the scent too this is one of her like christmas loaves that she did look at how gorgeous that is oh my god in this scent you get the mac apple you get that oak barrel and the barn wood oh, this is so good i have a tile of this like the little tile i cut it into like four pieces but this scent is so good so i think i'm just gonna take a little like piece here i'll probably cut like right down this tree here and take like this little like sliver here oh and then pass the rest along for somebody else to enjoy. So yes, I am gonna take a chunk of this because I absolutely love this scent. So that is called Apple Barn. And I will put that in the yes pile to, so I can cut a chunk of that. Next here, we have some more K's. This is sweet potato, brown sugar. Sweet potato, brown sugar, cinnamon, spiced, and pecans, or pecans. Ooh, that smells good. You get that sweet potato, the brown sugar, and my ring light just died, but whatever. <laughs> I'm not gonna stop now. You get that sweet potato on the bottom. Mmm. This smells good. I'm gonna put this one in my maybe pile. It says sweet potato brown sugar. We have another clam here from K K's in Moose Munch. This is caramel corn, pretzel, and toasted marshmallow. I know I've heard a lot of people rave about this. I think this is a new blend for K's. Hmm. 
You get the caramel corn. I do get the toasted marshmallow. And I get a slight hint of the pretzel at the bottom. I don't get too much pretzel, but it's really just a nice caramel corn and toasted marshmallow. Mm. I'm gonna put this one in my maybe pile too. So that is Moose Munch. Next from Waxy Taffy, this is Laundry Room. Downy April Fresh Laundry Mat and Cotton Candy. I think this one's probably gonna be a no for me because I'm not a fan of laundry sets. Yes. And that's what it smells like. It smells like the downy fabric softener. I use that at my laundry and my I like my clothes to smell like that, but I don't really want my house to smell like that. So I will pass this along to any other laundry lovers. Next from Second and Spruce is Ozzy Paws Born. Paws Born. I know this was a um a scent that April from April Lee Wax Queen created. Uh, this is strawberry pound cake, toasted coconut, and mallow fluff. Ooh. Uh, you get that strawberry pound cake with that toasted coconut. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh yeah. I am going to take half of this mini loaf so that way I can pass it along for somebody else to also enjoy. I'm not going to take the whole thing. But I will take half of this mini loaf. So I will put that in the yes pile. Next from Second and Spruce, we have Cranberry Frostbite. Cranberry ginger ale, a hint of winter woods. So this one, since it has ginger ale, is probably going to be a no for me. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's all I get is the ginger ale. So I will pass this along to somebody else who enjoys soda scents. Next, we have Scentsy Ginger and Spruce. I'm typically not a fan of ginger scents too, so yeah. That's what I get is like that fresh, like grated ginger. So yeah, unfortunately, I am going to pass on this one. Oh my God, she put a whole brick in here. <laughs> this is from... um last year's uh spring brick release this is summer berry melon i never actually tried this one i did like the orchard by the sea and the pink apple and nectarine oh but this smells good oh yeah this just smells like a nice summer berry scent that smells good. I'm going to put that in my maybe pile and maybe take like a brick piece, you know, just to try out. So that is Summer Berry Melon. Next we have L3 Blueberry Sugar Cuppy Cake Santa's on Keto, which is the Santa's on Keto is vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookies, and brown sugar butter cookies. Mmm. I get the blueberry with some vanilla ice cream. That smells good, but I am going to pass this because I know there are other blueberry lovers in the group. Next, we have a sample here from L3 in Midnight Blue Citrus. I believe this is a Bath and Body Works scent. Ooh. That smells good though. Ooh, smells like a nice, like citrus, but there's something else in here that I can't quite place my finger on. Hmm, but I like that. I think I'm gonna take this Midnight Blue Citrus and then I'm gonna look up the scent notes afterwards to find out what else it is that I'm smelling in there. Next from Second and Spruce, we have Yeti. This is creamy peppermint, woods, moss, and a hint of citrus. This, to me, oh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass because that is kind of a nose-clearing peppermint to me. And I do get the woods and the moss, and like I said, I'm not a huge earthy scent, so I'm going to pass Yeti along because I, I know we do have some earthy lovers in the group. 
Next is a sample from Rose Girls, Singing in the Purple Rain, Violets and Singing in the Rain, which is patchouli, lemongrass, sugarcane, lily, and rose. Hmm. I do get the violets and I get lily. I might get it. I think I get a, like a slight hint of patchouli and I do get the lemongrass. It's good, but it's not a love, so I'm going to pass that one along. Next, we have a brittle hair from Sassy Girl Aroma in Haunted Cemetery. This is plum, dark amber, and smoke. I don't remember seeing this on her list. Ooh. Ugh. That smells good, though. You get the smoke, but you also get like the plum and a hint of amber. Hmm. I think I might just take this piece here since it is broken just to give it a shot. So yeah, I'll put that in the yes pile and I will take that, that piece here. Next from Sassy Girl Aroma is Apple Butter Delight. This is slow cooked apples, caramelized sugar, brown butter, steamed milk, and creamy caramel. This one's a really good one, but I do have a full brittle of this already, so. Oh, but it is good. But I am going to pass this along since I already have a brittle of it. it says Apple Butter Delight. Next, oh, there is a second Haunted Cemetery. So that one will be passed along as well. Next from Sassy Girl Aroma is Friends Gather, the sweet fall aroma of bourbon glazed apples with a touch of sweet maple and vanilla cream. Ooh, that is good. You get the caramel apple with a little bit of spice, actually. I don't get much of the maple or the vanilla cream. This smells good. I might just take, you know, maybe like two rows here, eight cubes, just to try that out. So I will put that in the yes pile. Next from Sassy Girl Aroma is Whoville. This is orange and apples with cranberries and a hint of sugar and spice. This one might be a no for me because I'm not a fan of orange in wax. Yeah. And that's what I get. I get like the orange and the cranberry. Yeah. So I'm going to pass that one along. So that is Whoville. We are getting to the end. These are the last two. <laughs> Stephanie, I cannot believe that you sent so much wax. This is so much fun. This is from Vintage Chic Scents, Carnival of Souls. I think this is one of her, like, what does she call them? Blossom bars, I think. I don't know. I've never, I never ordered from Vintage Chic. Ooh. I get pumpkin. And I don't know what else. Hmm, this smells pretty good. Mm. But I think I'm gonna pass on this only because, like I said, I've never purchased from Vintage Chic, and I know she's no longer open, so I kind of don't want to fall in love with the scent and then not be able to get it anymore. So I will pass this along because I know there are other ladies out there who have Vintage Chic scents and do enjoy her wax. So I'll pass it along to somebody else. And then last but not least, we have Second and Spruce Hey Santa. This is Christmas trees, sugar cookies, and candy cane. Take out one of these. Oh yeah, her wax is so soft. You get the Christmas trees and a hint of the candy cane. I don't get much sugar cookie. Mm. but they're like the little like square pieces sorry wax all over me now I think I will take a couple of the square pieces just to try out and then I'll send the rest along 
So that is Hey Santa. Okay, so let's go through this. So from my yes pile, I have Friends Gather from Sassy Girl Aroma, which I said I'm only gonna take like the two rows here. Dessa's Apple Barn. And like I said, I'm just gonna cut right down the line here. The Hey Santa, I will take a couple of the, the little squares to try out. The Ozzy Paws Born from Second and Spruce. I'm gonna cut this mini loaf in half and take half of the mini loaf and send the rest on. From Sassy Girl Aroma is Haunted Cemetery. Like I said, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take like the first two rows here so I can try this one out. We have Teddy Bee's Spiced Vanilla and Almond Blossom. Like I said, I'm gonna take a few pieces of this loaf to try out to see if the almond comes out on warm or not. Cause like I said, I'm not a huge almond person, but I don't get too much of it on cold, so. We have the sample here from L3 in Tart Green Apple Sweet Cinnamon Sugar Oregon Autumn. We have the Scentsy Bar in Mountain Sunset. We have from Swanky Candy Cane Lane. We have Yummer's Delight, Don't Be So Jelly. We have the sample from Teddy Bee's and Sugared Violets and Angel Cake. And we have the Midnight Blue Citrus sample from L3. So those are my yeses. And then for my maybes, we have the Summerberry Melon Brick. It's good, but I think I'm gonna end up passing this. I was gonna take a brick cube, but it's not available anymore. So I don't wanna like fall in love with it and then not be able to get it. So I'm going to pass that one along. And we have Rose Girls Bowser's Breath Campfire Crispy Burned Cinnamon Toast Sugar Toast. I think this one, mm. I think this one's gonna be a yes for me. I'm gonna go ahead and put Bowser's Breath in my yes pile. The Rose Girls Let's Go Ghouls Vanilla Chai, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallows, and Pumpkin Milkshakes. Mm. This one's good, but I think I am going to pass this one especially since I, I'm gonna take the Bowser's Breath instead because I do like that one a little bit more. And we have the Meet Me at the Mistletoe Scentsy Bar. Mm -hmm. This is good, but you know, I'm just not in the mood for like the tree scents anymore now that we're past the holidays. So I'm gonna pass this one along too. And then we have the couple of K's clams, the pumpkin snickerdoodle, which is a snickerdoodle cookies, pumpkin, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Mm, this one's good. Uh, I'm still undecided about that. I'm gonna put that aside right now. Moose munch, which is caramel corn, pretzel, and toasted marshmallow. This one's good, but I think I like the pumpkin snickerdoodle better, so I'm gonna pass this one along. Next, we have the gingerbread, the cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, sugar, and vanilla. This is good, but I still think I like the pumpkin snickerdoodles better, so I'm gonna pass that one along. Then we have sweet potato, brown sugar, sweet potato, brown sugar, cinnamon, spice, and pecans. This is good too, but the same thing. I think I'm gonna do the pumpkin, the pumpkin snickerdoodle I'm gonna take and then I'm gonna pass the sweet potato brown sugar. And then we have the Tate Aloe and Green Clover Tobacco and Bay Palo Santo. And this is good, but I think I am gonna pass this because I know there are other ladies in the group that like uh, the green scents and the tobacco scents. So I'm gonna pass this one along as well. 
so yes that is the winter 2024 round robin hosted here by steph from steph loves life once again stephanie thank you so much for including me in this i was so blessed when you invited me to join in this group and i have you know grown to love you ladies i love chatting with you all in our group chat every day you guys are just such a blessing i honestly just never thought that i would you know connect with so many amazing people here on youtube and you ladies are all amazing i am so blessed to call you all my friends and i am just so happy to be a part of this amazing wax community here and so blessed to be a part of this amazing round robin that stephanie has started so stephanie again thank you so so much and yeah i am going to pack up this box and add my goodies into the box and I am going to ship this to the person that is closest to me so it's going to be a surprise of who that will be so yeah please make sure that you are all subscribed to all of our channels so you can follow along with this round robin and you can participate please like the videos please comment on the videos it helps us out so so much and it's just lovely to have you all participate and show your love and support for all of our channels we truly appreciate it and we love to watch the, see the comments and you know just interact with everybody in the comments it is just such a blessing to be a part of this community and like I said I am just so excited to be part of this round robin I hope you all will follow along and like I said I'm going to be shipping this off to the person that is closest to me so we will see who that person will be but thank you all so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you enjoyed seeing this round robin box and enjoyed seeing what goodies I took. And I hope you all have a great day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye.